All right, hi guys. So welcome back to my channel. Um, that's not cute. We have a party to prep for. Tomorrow is Saturday the 10th and it is the Army Navy game and we are doing a Army Navy Christmas party. So I'm gonna take you guys along to show you my entertainment tips and tricks to have a very easy but elevated holiday soiree. I need to get to the grocery store, crafts to do. There's a lot going on. If you are new and you've never seen one of my videos, hi, I'm Haley and I make lifestyle content on YouTube, lots of productivity and health and wellness content, home renovations and decor. And I would love to have you guys subscribe and be a part of the family. I also post a lot of content over on Instagram, which I will leave my handle vlogmas. It's the holiday season and we have a good time around here. So we gotta go to the store. I have so much to buy, it's ridiculous. This is what I like to use for the base of my hot chocolate. It's really yummy. So far this is shaping up to be a pretty beautiful, healthy looking party. Whenever these are on sale, I always stock up. These are the Stevia Sweetened Chocolate Chips by Lily's. So great for the holidays. Normally I wouldn't do our weekly grocery shopping and a party grocery shopping trip at one time, but it just kind of worked out schedule wise so look at this Ugh. one thing I like to do is clean my fridge out before a party so we are gonna go through these drawers give them a quick clean and organized wipe everything down and then that way everything can be super organized for the party tomorrow yes I have a celery root I enjoy pureed <laughs> celery root and then I have like chicken that I need to cook tonight. So some of this stuff's gonna end up coming out and getting used, which will be great. And you guys got a bath today and you've been laying on the towels to clean and dry off. Like beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dogs because you're so stunning. Look at you and look at you. Oh my gosh. If your friends and family are like mine, they'll go in your fridge. So I just feel like having a clean space is really important. I figured I would just take this time during this time lapse to kind of share some of my tips for entertaining and getting ready for a party. I never do a deep clean prior to a party like this. I will definitely clean the house, but not a deep clean because you're gonna need to do a deep clean afterwards. So it ends up kind of just being a waste. Just make sure everything's tidy and sanitized and looks presentable. You don't need to go crazy with like steam cleaning your floors and all of that because you're just gonna have to do it after the fact. When it comes to menu planning for a party, it definitely depends on the type of party you're having. Now, because this was in conjunction with the Army Navy game, it wasn't like a dinner party or anything like that. Finger foods and appetizers were what we decided to serve since it was also an afternoon game. And I always like to have a mixture of fresh vegetables and fruits with some protein, with some savory things. And that's always how I decipher my menus. So I like to do something cold and fresh and then something that I get to bake. For the more savory hot dishes, I like to do things that are very simple, that are still finger foods that people can just kind of grab as they please. And I love doing things with Pillsbury crescent rolls or Pillsbury pizza dough. I made a homemade crab dip, which was super easy. I'll link my recipe down below. I did a two layer cr uh, crust in between and made like a cool Christmas tree shape. And then I did another one that was a candy cane and was a pizza bread. I'll put pictures of what the inspo was because I didn't get any footage from the actual party. Another tip is to make sure that you unload your dishwasher before the party starts so that way you can clean as you go and not have anything in the sink. That is not a good look if you are hosting. I also recommend using disposable cutlery plates. You can just get things on Amazon. We had a really nice selection of plaid plates, napkins. I got some gold plastic cutlery and glitter cups. It's just a little nicer than like the traditional white or black plastic and red solo cups, although the red would have been very festive. Lastly, you want to think about the flow of your party, especially if your home isn't super big and you don't want it to seem overly crowded and have people hovering in one spot. Have a different zone for food and drink. We had our drinks in the garage and our food in the kitchen. Okay, I had to charge my camera, but I made a quick little Chex Mix party mix because we've got a bunch of kiddos coming tomorrow and that's like an easy thing for them to have. To save myself time, I am taking the cheese for the charcuterie that I'm making and I'm going to cube it and try to prep as many 
things tonight as I can just to save time. Charcuterie. Charcuterie. Cooch? Charcuterie. <laughs> I also like to do as much prep the night before as I can. As you can see, prepping the cheese into cubes. Um, if you need to cut vegetables, wash vegetables, all of that, try to do it the night before because I ended up rushing heavily the day of the party and I did do some prep. Depending on the size of your party, I think it's also really great to be um, just mindful of the, the guests that you're having and their dietary needs. Now, it doesn't mean you have to have like two of everything, but we have a few friends who are vegetarian, some are dairy free. So I just wanted to make sure that those options were available. So I had some vegetarian snacks. We also did a hot chocolate bar where I had some dairy hot chocolate. I also did a non-dairy hot chocolate. If you are going to be preparing a lot of sweets and treats and little snacks, I recommend getting some cute little cellophane bags. You can usually get them at the dollar store or even your grocery store and they can be Christmas themed. That way people can take little goodie bags. I ended up giving lots of cookies for everybody to take home. So I have three different height trees and I made sure that the toothpick method was going to work. And it does. That one broke, but it, I promise it does. It's because I did that one handed. Let's leave those be and we're going to make the cookies now. The first, oh wow, I am looking well, just great. The first cookie I am making today are my brown butter, I always want to say sugar cookies. It's snickerdoodles. They're my favorite. I'm wearing Kyle's apron. These are the best aprons. I forget the brand. My cousin Eric got them for us for our wedding and I'm obsessed with them. Since you in the way that the cross cross pattern is on the cords. All right, so brown butter, snickerdoodles, chocolate chip cookies. I've got a few hours. Let's go. Okay, so for these snickerdoodle cookies, you will need two and a half cups of flour and one teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons cream of tartar, a half teaspoon of cinnamon, and a fourth teaspoon of salt. That's your dry ingredients. For your wet ingredients, we are going to use two sticks of butter that I'm going to brown, one and one fourth cup packed dark brown sugar, a half cup of granulated sugar, one large egg plus an egg yolk, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a tablespoon of plain Greek yogurt, and then you're gonna need a fourth cup of sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon for rolling. Yes, my butter That's overflowed. Not, good. not my brightest moment. Now you mix up the dry ingredients separate and then you can add your cooled butter. You need to let it sit for like 10 to 15 minutes. You can stick it in the fridge if you want. And then you can mix your dry ingredients slowly into your wet using a hand mixer or a stand mixer. And then you need to chill this dough for three to four hours or even overnight. But then once you're ready, you just preheat your oven to 350 degrees and you scoop out a tablespoon to two tablespoons of dough and roll it into a ball and then roll that in the cinnamon and sugar and then bake that for anywhere from like nine to 12 minutes. Now, because I was so busy the day of, I didn't film actually making the cookies, but let me tell you, they went quick. Everybody was saying that they were the best cookies they had ever have. Here is our beautiful spread before I put out the crab dip pull apart bread and the pizza bread. I just threw those in the oven once people got there so that they were hot. All of my cutlery and everything is from Amazon. I will link all of it down below for you. It's a few days after the party. I'm, whoa, just tripped on a dog bone. Still recovering, but I wanted to show you guys a few of the things that I had for the party in case you wanted them for your own Christmas festive events or just winter time in general. Let's go do that real quick. These are, don't mind my broken nails. Very, very tragic. These are my favorite candy canes from Yum Earth. They have no artificial dyes. And I tried to find the peanut M&Ms, but I ended up going with the traditional. I try to do dye free if I can, but these are wonderful. This was for the hot cocoa bar. And then I also got these little stirring spoons. So you can just mix them into warm milk, coffee, or put them in your hot cocoa. So that's just like a super fun little thing. This is the brand of apron that I was wearing. It is Headley and Bennett. These things are so amazing. I just, I love them. And I have, well, let me move Kyle's sweatshirt. So this is Kyle's. His is a really good olive green. And mine is super cute with this polka dot print. I love them. I don't think I have ever showed you guys 
or basement and I don't think I plan on doing that today. It's all storage, but I wanna just show you I ordered a carafe, oh there it is. I ordered this stainless steel carafe for the hot chocolate so that way I didn't have to have the big crock pot out or have it on the stove. This was only like 30 bucks or maybe less than 30 bucks on Amazon. It came in a couple different finishes. This is something that my parents always had for Christmas and parties. They would put the coffee in there and that way it stayed warm and fresh. Just a really good thing to have in your entertaining arsenal. This is my plaid tablecloth that I had on our kitchen table. It's from Bee and Willow, which I believe is a Bed Bath & Beyond brand. Yeah. If I can find this, I will link it for you. If not, I will link some similar ones below. So these are the little cellophane goodie bags that I was telling you about so that people can just make little treat bags and then they come with some ties. This needs to be reorganized because I kind of just threw stuff down here. Like my box of glasses, but this is where I keep all of our serving stuff. And I love these enamel bowls. They are so great for the summertime, but also do a really great job at leaning towards more of like a Christmas theme. So I use that for the Chex Mix. They're also great because they come with these lids. So I really like those. They were from Target. I also really like adding things of interest. So instead of purchasing a napkin holder, I actually used this antique drawer to hold the paper plates and the napkins and just things like that kind of give it a special touch. And I use this stuff all over the house for different seasons and just kind of fun, unique things. Again, I think that the enamel kind of lends itself to like a vintage Christmas theme, even though these are typically used in the summer. And then the cutlery was just from Amazon. So it looked, it just looked really fun and festive and it was super easy and inexpensive. My mom also picked us up this really cute Christmas tray. Just a random thing I wanted to share with you because it was so adorable. I think she got it at Tuesday morning maybe. Just melamine, really cute. In case I get questions on our cookie thing. This is just a, a like a cake dome from Home Goods that I have had for a long time, and I put the antique bells on there. This was the cutlery that we used. Just great value pack. I also saved the trees because I ran out of time and didn't get to do my caprice tree or my fruit tree. So we're gonna use these for Christmas. But if you want to reuse these after you've put fresh food on them, just take the outer layer of foil off and then rewrap it with fresh foil. Or you can invest in the foam trees and you know keep those. Just wrap them in um, saran wrap first so that way you can reuse them. Now I realize not everybody has a garage and if you do have a garage, maybe it's not fit to make a bar in there, but try to do like your food maybe on a table and the bar on a counter just to kind of keep the flow going. We had set up table, it's a little bit of a mess right now, but I'll just kind of give you the lowdown. It was decorated, but we took it all down. This was actually, I let Kyle do this. This was completely him. So these are just bins from Target and we had these cute plastic cups. I believe that they were 14 ounce. And then, um, yeah, everybody can make their drinks out here. We have a fridge out here as well. So people could get beer and things like that. So I don't think I ever showed you guys the painted garage in, the, in a vlog. I filmed the whole process. I need to do that. Um, we still have our camp chairs out from the bonfire the other night, but I'll give you a little overview. So I installed rubber flooring and it's been kind of muddy out so that you can see the dog's paw prints everywhere. Um, and then I painted it this awesome bronze green color and I will have to... What the heck is the color? I tested out a bunch of them. Oh man, I'll link it down below, but it is such a good color. And then when the camp chairs are not here, it's my little gym setup. We had kind of moved everything around for the party so that this was open because the guys were watching the football game. But I keep my treadmill here and this was my makeshift uh, computer stand. I need to get a new computer stand. And then Kyle just bought me this. He goes, I got you a present. And it is a propane heater because this garage gets so cold and it's the portable buddy heater. I love it. It works really well. It gets super hot. 
So yeah, it's my little home gym. The plan, I don't know why this is turning into a gym, a garage gym talk, but the plan is to have um, a cable system over here. That whole area will be cardio. And then we're gonna do a collapsible squat rack over there. So this is gonna be the spot. And then over here, I'm just gonna give you guys the full rundown. Over here, obviously we're gonna drywall. This entire area is going to be floor to ceiling built-ins and I cannot wait. It's going to be an extension of our mudroom. We're gonna end up doing the herringbone tile out here. This room's gonna be indoor-outdoor where it's gonna be insulated, have heating, air conditioning, all of that. And this wall is going to also get drywalled and then we're doing vertical cedar planks in like a natural wood tone. I can't wait, this room's gonna be so cool. It's gonna function as a gym, but also be a great spot for us to entertain for football and bonfires and stuff, so. And then we're gonna have a built-in bench and cubby system here too. Extension of the laundry and mudroom. Facing this door with a natural wood tone Dutch door with glass, so that way we have some extra light. <laughs> And then that leads us into the laundry room, which you guys have seen. And my father-in-law is actually going to be making us a nice little panel box because we had to take the old one off. It was plastic and not cute. The last thing I wanted to mention is that we keep the couch looking super comfy. We had all of our fuzzy blankets and Christmas pillows and stuff, but we had you know, the dogs and then little kids and stuff. So just for extra protection, we put down these waterproof blankets that we get off of Amazon. They are wonderful. The kids were all over them and we had no issues, so.